welcome back. So I have a haul for you guys today. This is like a birthday haul slash things I've picked up in the last month or so slash uh, some birthday gifts. I mean, it's a ton of stuff, so I better get started. Some stuff in here was also sent to me and I will let you guys know about that. Actually, you know, I'll start off with a couple of the products that were sent to me. Um, these are from CoverFX and I've used some of their products before. Really, really enjoyed like the custom cover drops. Love those. They sent a few items to try out and I really have been enjoying using these. This is the Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation and this is in the color N25. Really, really nice cream foundation. It gives a really great finish on the skin with being full coverage. I like it. It does look natural on the skin and it is oil free. So this is going to be perfect for those of you who have oily skin. And then this is the anti-aging primer. I've used this a little bit, not enough to really say very much about it, but um, I'm going to continue using this and using these two together actually. So, but really, really love this product so far. Sometimes I mix like a little bit of the, um, CC cream from IT Cosmetics, the illumination one, in with this just to give a little bit more of like a dewiness. This does have like a natural, I would say like satin finish to it, but it's just a really great product. So yeah, these are two that were sent and I have been enjoying trying them. Okay, speaking of the IT Cosmetics CC illumination that I did a video on, a lot of you guys asked me about the new um, Guerlain Meteor, like, meteorites. <laughs> that was like blah, blah, blah. I don't say that right. Girl Guerlain, is it like Guerlain or something like very fancy and stuff? I saw Brianna from Brianna Stanko do a video on this and I was like, that looks really good. It's light revealing sheer makeup with sunscreen, anti-fatigue effect, baby glow, SPF 25. This is in the color 2, light. Honestly, the medium is a little bit dark and then the light, because I had samples of the medium that I used before I bought it, but the light is really pink and light. It comes with a pump. This really just gives, a, honestly, a glow to the face. This color is fairly pink is what I will say about it. But it really does just give a nice coverage. I would say it's not as light or as sheer as I thought it would be, but it doesn't look like makeup on your skin. I've used this a ton. It does have a strong scent to it. It smells like the rest of the Guerlain products do, like a very perfumey scent, so if that bothers you, this might bother you. But this just really gives a beautiful, youthful look to the skin. I really enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do like a comparison video on what I think about this versus the CC Illumination from IT Cosmetics and go more into depth, I will. I will first say that this is more brightening effect and it's more, uh, it's less, it doesn't have like shimmer in it that I can see. It's more like brightening. So that's, I guess, offhand what I would say. I didn't notice any shimmer on my skin with the IT Cosmetics one either, but I do find that it gives more of like that more noticeable glow and this just kind of gives a brightening glow if that makes sense um, but really really great product this also comes um, like I said in limited colors so number two is the lightest color and it is the color light but I think they could go for a little bit lighter of a color okay I picked up one of these little Clinique cheek pops this is in the cheek pop blush pop in pansy pop Really nice purpley color, it has like such cute little detail on it. These just really intrigued me. I had seen a lot of people do videos on them. This is a gorgeous like pinky purpley color. I love that. So picked that one up. It's a nice sheer wash, but it looks really natural on the skin. Like it kind of just blends into the skin and really does give like that pop of color rather than looking almost like a powder. Like I would say it's just so finely milled. It almost like comes across as like a stain on your cheeks. Really been enjoying these. I, I really like that formula and I love this color. I just think it's really fun for summer. Okay, for my birthday, uh, every year I buy myself a YSL. And when I say every year, I mean I've started it at 30. I bought myself my first YSL lipstick 
and I love these tint and oils. So I buy myself a YSL product and I thought this year I would buy these because I love them. And of course I bought two because why not when you're turning 33, you just should. So I did it. These were the two colors that I really, really wanted. I love these. I bought one a while ago. Honestly, when it first came out, I bought it and I fell in love with the formula, the color. You may have seen, heard or seen me talk about it before, but I have the number, I think it's four, I Rose You. That was my first one. I love it. I love it. Since then, I've picked up a few additional colors and plus these two. This one is in the color, um, it's called Peach Me Love and it's number six. It's a beautiful like peach color. These are like oil, really moisturizing, sheer, but they change a little bit of color on your lips. Love these for that like everyday makeup look. I also love them for just hydrating the lips. I put one on when I'm starting my makeup just to keep my lips really nice and hydrated. They have a little bit of that gloss on it. This one is number two in Oh My Gold and it's just a beautiful, I would say this one's even a peachy-ish color too and it has like a lot of gold flecks in it. So this is like a lighter peach color with a lot of different golden flecks in it as you can see right there. You can't really see the golden flecks probably here but on the lips there it's just a nice sheen it doesn't like feel gritty or anything like that but it's just a really beautiful one so I really like those two colors and yeah I picked those up for my birthday I was with Dana and she was like you're gonna get two I'm like yeah <laughs> why not speaking of Dana she bought me some really really sweet gifts from Chanel and she also got me the Clinique um, I think it's like the takeaway the day balm it's in my bathroom. I totally forgot to bring that in. I've really been loving that. It just is like a cleansing balm that just completely wipes away your makeup and it feels really nice on your skin. But she picked up a few things from Chanel and she has good taste, I have to say. She got one of these. They're new. They came out. They're called Stylo Eyeshadows. And this one is in 127 Laurier Rose. But it's a really nice, almost like corally metallic color. Oh, I love it. So these feel like really cooling on the skin. This is a gorgeous base. I have loved this. They stay, they do not crease on the eyes. You can blend them out a little bit, but then they do set. They just feel very, very comfortable on and that is just such a beautiful color and it's going to be perfect also in the summer. But this is a color that can transition into the fall and like wearing it with some cranberries and stuff. So I really, really like this color. I think it's a very universal one. So thank you, Dana, you did great. Another thing that she picked up for me is from Chanel as well. And it is one of their Le Rouge Coco Ultra Hydrating Lip Colors. And this is in 440 Arthur. I love the name Arthur. This is like the perfect orangey coral shade. I'm really into these like really nice orangey shades. This is super hydrating on the lips. Perfect, perfect color for me, especially going into the summer. That's like a staple go-to color. I just like to throw that on sometimes with some mascara, bronzy skin, and it's like done and done. So really, really love that color. Again, thank you so much, Dana. I, you did like an amazing job. You didn't have to buy me anything. I was just happy to spend my birthday with you. Okay, and for a bronzer, this was sent to me. This is from The Balm. It's a bronzer blush in Balm Desert. I've tried this a little bit, not a whole lot. It's a new product, like I said, and it's like a bronzer and blush all in one. So it has like a, sheen, a really nice sheen to it. It has a little bit of some rosiness to it. So I haven't tried it enough to say very much about it, but it looks gorgeous and it's it looks like it's going to be a beautiful like bronzy blush. So if not an all over bronzer, a really beautiful bronzy blush. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that product. Okay, my friend Stephanie from Babs Beauty talked a lot about these or she showed them a lot. These colored rain um, lip matte lipsticks or I don't know what they are, liquid lipsticks. Uh, I picked up two colors in Berry Rain, which is like this beautiful purpley shade, these dry matte, 
They're beautiful. I find these very comfortable on the lips. And then this one is in Marshmallow. Really interesting, like bay, bay. <laughs> it's bay. I was gonna say like beigey gray. I don't know, almost like brownish shade. It looks like it's not gonna be cute, but I'm like determined to really rock this. I've worn this one and it was really comfortable on the lips and it stayed like a mofo. So um, this color right here is one that I'm a little bit more nervous about. It's like out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear ColourPop um, lip liner and Tootsie with this and just give it a whirl. I'm gonna go for it. I'll post a picture on Instagram when I do. Okay, I picked up this Tom Ford quad and this was back ordered. This is in Nude Dip. It's been released before. There was a lot of hype over it. I picked it up because everyone was talking about how gorgeously beautiful it is and it is gorgeously beautiful. It is four shades right here. They are all that like metallic -ness that you would find like in an ex extra dimension eyeshadow. So I'm going to swatch them all for you. There's like a gold shade, a more like taupey silver shade, this is like more of a rosy golden shade, and then a like chocolatey bronze shade. Okay, so what, what I will say about these is they are beautiful. They are. I really like the colors. I think that they, they apply all right. Here's the thing. Do I think it's worth the 70 something dollars that it that it costs? No, not for that particular quad. I don't. There are several Tom Ford quads that I do own and love. That one to me isn't worth the price tag. It's beautiful. Will I wear it? Absolutely. But do I think I could have gotten away without buying it? Yes. I've been so spoiled by the Makeup Geek Foiled eyeshadows. I find that those wear better on my eyes. They're actually more comfortable on my eyes. This is more of a drier formula. You almost need a little bit more of a base for them to show up metallic like they are. They swatch really beautiful, but when you're applying them to the eyes, they don't quite come across as metallic as they even swatch. So, I don't know. I'm just not like in love. I even like color some of the ColourPop shadows a little bit more, um, just the formula I find that they wear longer. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but I did want to uh, let you know and swatch them for you. Okay, moving along. Okay, a lot of these products I'm realizing when I'm talking about them, I purchased because of recommendations from other people. This one is from Laura Lee here on YouTube. She recommended this. She said it was one of her favorite glosses from Hourglass. If you guys don't watch her, she's hilarious. I love her channel. Um, this is in the lip gloss Extreme Sheen lip gloss in the color Child, which is like a really beautiful nude peach. These don't really have a scent to them, which I'm not happy about. I wish they had a scent to them. This is like a nice, I wouldn't say it's opaque and I wouldn't say it's sheer, but it's a really, really great topper, really nice peachy nude gloss. I love it, great recommendation. I put this over Max Pure Zen lipstick and I love the combination. It's just so, so beautiful. So thanks for the great recommendation, Laura. I mean, not me, Laura, but her, Laura. Trust me, I'm not talking to myself in third person. Okay, if you guys heard me talk about these Pillow Plump glosses from Soap and Glory in a Friday Favorites a while back, or a couple of weeks ago maybe, these are the Sexy Mother Puckers, and that's just a fun name to say. These things are like crack to me. I just like can't get enough. I am like, give me my gloss. I ordered another color. They are on sale on the Sephora website. This is in the color Pinkwell really really beautiful pink shade these feel like they are plumping up your lips if you do not like plumping glosses you will not like these these actually feel like what in the hula hay is happening to my lips because they're like zzz, they almost feel like they're vibrating and i love it <laughs> if you love plumping lip products you will love this. So pick some of these up while they're on sale on Sephora's website, Soap and Glory, 
what do they call it? Pillow Plump XL, XXL, double XL. Okay, a product that was sent to me from Tarte. This is the Tarte Poppy Picnic Palette. I like this a lot. Used it a few times. It's a really beautiful array of matte shades plus a really beautiful blush, full-size blush. This is in the color Glisten, which is in their permanent line. It is just almost like NARS Orgasm. I think it's a very close dupe to that. Really beautiful, as you can see, like sheen to it, like a peach with a sheen to it. Gorgeous. And then these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, really nice matte eyeshadows. I really like this blush shade right here, like this blush color eyeshadow but there are just a few of them. I've really, really liked this and I think it's a good palette. It's great with the six different really versatile matte shades and then the really great blush, perfect for like traveling with. Okay, so that is it. I was gonna show, I have a ton of ColourPop products, but you know what? I'm going to do a separate haul for those and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and film that right now. I'm gonna do a separate haul with the ColourPop products that I've really been loving recently. So I will look, keep your eye out for that haul. I have a lot of newer products from ColourPop um, that I've purchased, so I want to show some of them. This video, I didn't want to make it too long, and these are all ColourPop, so I figured I would give them their own video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.